What it is, love, mama, trying to function And everyone around you keep an eye on Lately, you more dead than alive Hey guys, this is Nick. Welcome to my channel, my video babies. I am back. I am back with another hit banger. As promised, I got episode four of Cobra Kai season three here. We last saw last episode of Daniel leaving the test with his family and end up in going to Japan. We really want to know what happened with the. I really want to know what happened with um, Daniel in this episode. It, it's going to probably continue of what happened. You know, basically, I think they're going to focus just this episode on Daniel going to Japan more than his family. Uh, I would love to see that. I want to see. I want to see uh, all his pe All his. I want to see his nemesis. I know it's going to see his nemesis. I was spoiled. Somebody spoiled that for me. I know he's going to be on the show. So I want to love to see that. Um, I just don't know. I don't know what's going to happen this episode. I just really love this show. And we all saw what happened to Robbie last episode. He got his ass kicked by the the, the guest of the bully of Juvenile. I mean, <laughs> the big bad boss of the in the in the cell. You know what I mean? Like in the jail cell. Like, I, I'm King Kong. You better listen to me. Y'all following me. Like, really? Like, who does that? Robbie kick his ass, please kick his freaking ass, man. Like I said in the last episode, I felt like Robbie didn't want to fully, cause I know for a fact Robbie would have kicked the asses easily. But I felt like he didn't want to do it because he, he what happened to Miguel, it kind of traumatized him as much as it did to all the guys. Sam, even Miguel himself felt like he didn't want to walk no more. And, you know, he had a surgery. He finally did his surgery. I would love to see what's going to happen. I know he's going to walk again. Because I saw in another thumbnail, it was two thumbnails I saw of this show. I was really pissed that YouTube and Netflix, they need to chill out on showing these trailers. And they need to stop, you know, chill out on these um, clips. Like one second, you know, like 30 second uh, scene. You know what I mean? They always do it on YouTube. I was trying so hard to avoid it. And that's what I saw. A thumbnail of Daniel's arch, arch nemesis. And I saw one scene... Another clip I saw was on uh, Miguel and um, Johnny standing together against, you know, I think they were standing next to Crease, you know, John Crease. That's the one I saw. And I thought to myself, y'all need to chill out, man. You want some people to be surprised. But we all know that now when I knew that um, Miguel's going to get up and start moving around. But that's why we, I think that's going to slowly happen, these different episodes. So I can't, I'm, I'm so happy for that. But I cannot wait to do episode four with you guys all right guys um like i said before my last episode i'm keep saying it i'm watching these videos off my netflix account all right guys are you ready you know i'm ready i want you guys to sit back relax get yourself a snack and enjoy yourselves babies while i hit play now before we do this let's go over the ground rules rule number one no touching of the hair or face and that's it! Now let's do this! Never underestimate your enemy. Even if you think they're weaker than you. You always have to stay one step ahead of them. Why are you selling like the commercials? Remember the commercials you always in? the only way to guarantee a victory. <laughs> Is that understood? Yes, that's it! Oh! Ain't no way the hell he's gonna make that. Stop playing. Stop that. your sniveling. <laughs> I can do it, Sensei. Okay, what are you waiting for? Yeah, Hawk got an idea. Don't you want a running start? Don't need one. Ooh, smart. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Ah, oh, man. It's 30 something years, man. Everything's changed. It's not even a little small village no more. Wow, wow. Santos. Is that a black guy? Are you fighting in there after everything that's happened? You seriously don't like shooting those starting fights. <laughs> yeah, look at your face sometimes. I just want to say I screwed up. No, I say it. I'm just trying to say. What? I'm just trying, you're man. In my corner, and you got my back. Because let's be honest, that means jack shit. Earth science presentation? Okay, look at him. Look at him in the cool table. We don't have to talk to each other on a regular basis. 
Hey, hey, hey. Hey, calm down, ma'am. My popularity is on the rise. Well, yours is steadily declining. But uh, maybe we can meet in the middle. Like a sexual Venn diagram. <laughs> <laughs> so what's under the sheet? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> oh, oh, you dick. You a dick. And nobody saw that? No teachers around? Sorry, man. Until my boss got away from me. It's bullshit. Kick him in the face. It took me three weeks to build. Uh, it took my ball three seconds to destroy. Fight. What's going on here, Miss LaRusso? Yeah, the teacher show up now. Against physical contact. She show up now. Did she enter your personal bubble without your verbal consent? Oh, wow. Yeah, she definitely triggered me in my safe space. You know, they the book. What are talking about? He started by destroying my science they, project. What? What's wrong with this? Accident. What's wrong with this teacher? You probably shouldn't bring your toys to school anyway. There she is. Okay. Ah, uh, there she is. Oh, man. Give it a bad guy. Let's separate. I wish we could do something about those creeps. Can. How? Councilor Black will give us detention just for breathing near them. I don't see any word, do you? Come on! I'm taking easy on the physical contact! She loved you, you know. Did you say? Oh, yeah, she told me. Man, you had a good thing going with the hottest girl in school. And you ruined it. Like we couldn't even lose it. Oh, right in front of your boy! Start teaching after I moved back to Okinawa. And the UK got sick. Wow. And this was always my home. And I'm sorry to hear she passed. Damn. I know she was very proud of you. So now she's away from Miyagi now. I have an incredible family. Yeah. I have my own business. I should be counting my blessings. This There's is so, so many cool. things have been going sideways for me lately. I used to go to Mr. Miyagi for help. But, you know, I am the same age now that Mr. Miyagi was when he met me. Really? He had it all figured out. Like 40, 50 years old? He still had it. You know, Mr. Miyagi looked like he was in his 50s. Be here to help guide me. I wanted to hurt you. I always wanted just to help. Kick him in the face. He did the impossible. You brought Cobra Kai back. He even helped your ass out. He brought me back. He brought you. Thank you. Miyagi-san wrote unto you here. So many years. So many letters. This was, um... This was right when we Mr. Miyagi died. Damn, really? Would you like me to read it? Wow. In life. I have always looked for signs to show me the right way, but I got lost. Until I met Danielsa. Man, that's all His kind heart, strong cheek, and loyalty and love for those around him is a guiding light to me. Okay. I can't walk. You know the surgery, I might never be able to. Cut! Okay, sense it. Never. Can't. So just as words are meaningless, it's time for you to get out of that bed and do something. He's gonna fall down. <laughs> oh shit. It's alright, you felt like a champ. <laughs> Nurse! Oh no. You gonna cut the. You gonna cut it? <laughs> just that whole thing. Remember that? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I do it. Here we go. Awesome cliffhanger. Awesome cliffhanger. 
There you have it guys, unbelievable. This episode was way better than the last episode. My opinion, that's how I feel. Now, I'm gonna break piece by piece what's what happened in this episode that I like and some of that, you know, I thought to myself was kind of really, really smart that they put it in like this. First of all, John Kreese, you're still a dick. Now let's go back to another scene. The teacher in this, <laughs> And this show is so weird that she picked the guys, like four, four bad, is hogging his friends from Cobra Kai over Sam and Dimitri. It seemed like everybody in the whole school blamed Sam and Dimitri and his and, and Miyagi Do's, you know, students for, for starting the whole fight. That's what they think. They started the whole fight last season. Tori was the Tori was the one who started the whole entire fight, and her ass is not even in the school. You know what I'm saying? Where her ass is at? She's not even in the school, and she's the one who started the whole entire fight. But it felt like every the teachers, everybody was feeling like they was the reason why they started that fight, and she focusing on protecting the Cobra Kai's team over Daniel's daughter and her team. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's so weirded out to me. So, did she enter your your space? Like, really, teacher? Really? Somebody got fired? Somebody fire her ass, please. Now, th this part right here that I like, Sam got redemption. Sam and her team got redemption, kicking Cobra Kai's ass in the in the outside field. If you can't fight him in school, fight him in sports. She kicked this dude in the face, a soccer move, right in the face. Dimitri did a, the most dopest thing I ever I think he ever done probably done in this whole entire season. He got into his mind. He distracted him. Then he elbowed him in his back. Then he did a spinning round kick and make him trip and fell on his ass. Now, no girls are not gonna respect him no more <laughs> after that. Everybody thought you could piss yourself. Now this, this shit's hilarious. No girls is not gonna respect you no more after you got your ass kicked by the schools, like the what to them, the school nerd, top nerd, who just guesses the top is is his the, is a head now. He's, he's the badass kid now. Like oh, unbelievable. Even he's sitting in on a popular table. The popular kids are talking to him and shit. He all cool with him. Like that's that's so cool, man. I love that. That's why I love this episode so much because we see things have shifted around. Like, listen, the the, the nerds, what's nerds, are back. They are the popular kids, or the popular kids are slowly declining. That's his Dimitri's words. <laughs> this episode was good. Now, for the meat and the potatoes, Daniel finally, I finally got, I finally found his name out. What it was his name is Chosen. That's an awesome name, by the way. Um, Daniel Arch Nemesis Chosen just popped, gave us an awesome cliffhanger. Now, if I didn't see that on a trailer, like I was saying on YouTube, y'all need to stop doing that. On Netflix, you need to stop doing that. I don't know which one. Y'all need to stop doing that. Show If y'all did not show Chosen, I would have been so mind blown, shocked. Unbelievable. So, so many things in this video. Like the last season, was it last season or season I think season yeah season two I think when Robbie I think it was Robbie yeah Robbie got his mess up his leg Daniel did that whole Miyagi move to heal him and then he said nurse that was that really caught my eye because they did a exactly good scene here when um Daniel was sitting in the bar with his love interest when they they was they was putting blocks of um, ice cubes, no, a box of black ice bricks on a thing. It, it, if you've seen Karate Kid 2, you know exactly what I mean with Karate When Daniel did that arm thing and broke the ice in half. Oh my god, I love how they did that. They switched <laughs> the same thing they did with the um season two of Cool Car. They changed it up and they they, they make ice out of it to make it and put it on his, in his cup. That was so well done, so well done. And I'm gonna tell you this, Daniel finally. Uh, I feel like he finally got relief, you know, the stress is gone because he got those calm words from Miyagi for like a week before he died in the letter about him, you know, when before, before he met um, Daniel in Karate Kid 1, he felt like his life was low and less and that he had nothing, you know, to live for. 
and all of a sudden he met Daniel and, and all this stuff came back to you know all joy and all that stuff from Mr. Miyagi so Daniel was crying and he felt like you know what thank you so much for giving me you know those kind words from Miyagi and now I can go back home with my family and just be who I you know who I'm supposed to be and that was that was really cool and that really caught me in a little bit knowing that he didn't really wrote those words but if you're a really Karate Kid fan you can imagine in your head and think to yourself wow Miyagi really wrote those kind words to me to, me, um, to actually he didn't even write it to him he wrote it to his love his, the love of his life and basically was talking about Daniel so that's what make it even more better for him to hear those words coming from Miyagi to somebody else like he probably never heard Miyagi talk like that in front of him but you know that was so cool now the small village is not a village anymore man it's a mall complex it got, it got so much shit in there so KFC I seen so much shit up in there man it, it's changed you thought Daniel thought of himself oh I'm gonna go to a small village no man 30 you haven't been there in 30 something years things change I, I've been to places but the first time I moved out with me and my family, I moved out when I was 16 years old. Um, I went back to when I used to, when I was a teenager too. I was like I say, 20 something years later, 20 something years I could say. And I went back to my old place that I used to live. And it looked totally different when you when you get older. So to him, it, he didn't expect it to be the same. But it's been 30 something years then, you haven't been... Like, <laughs> and you know, haven't been a visiting Santo, you haven't visited, um, you know, anybody else in that village. You haven't been, you just lived your life. And I understand that. It's cool like that. But <laughs> things change. People change. And now, then you get to see what's happening. I really want to know what's going to happen episode 5 and 6. You're going to see episode 5 and 6, guys. Hopefully next week, I want you guys to hit the notification bell. It will let you guys know I got episode 5 and 6 right there, guys. Because I'm doing episode, episode, two episodes per week. I want to do these videos. This, I, wanna, I ain't going to do other videos. I'm just going to focus on Cobra Kai from 1 to 10. So if y'all expecting to see, oh, I want to see Harry Styles. I want to see One Direction. I want you guys to write, I want in the comment section down below, um... Uh, to give me request videos for me to do in the, in the future because I'm going to focus on Cobra Kai to the hit number 10 then I'm going to come back to your requests okay guys I want to say thank you guys for so long y'all been there by my side for like supporting me giving me your comments and giving your, your you know your, 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 just like me you know what I'm saying and you love this show I listen I just I tell the truth I, I don't sugarcoat nothing I, don't, I just be real you know what I'm saying I'm sorry to some people who think when you talk over some of the things listen, it's okay this happens if you you know that's the call reaction soon alright but hey I want you to just write in the comment section down below what you guys think on this reaction in this video show your boy some love here hit that like button if you like this video show it <laughs> also guys don't forget to hit the notification bell again to let you guys know I got another hit Deuces.